I'm going to show you how to remove the flywheel and the starter clutch on a normal bridging strap. First of all, you remove the shroud. Bolt holes there. The end one on the top. Then you'll have this screen here that'll sit like that. There will be a bolt there. There. Only two holes or two bolts that you gotta take off, so you take that off. It's a little light on the other side, so I took it over. Um, and then you take um, a chisel kind of thing, but not the sharp kind. But you know, like the sharp or the soft metal kind. And then you put it up against here, like that. And you take a hammer. It's just a mallet because that's the only one I can find. And then you just tap the end, other end of the until it starts to come loose. Jeez. And just do it on those little tabs there. Once it is loose, you can take it off. And it will just roll off like that, and then you'll have the starter clutch. And if the flywheel doesn't come off, which this one is a little tight on there, you take a crowbar. And you just wedge it right behind there. So you got some, so you can wedge it off. And you hit this. I can't really do that, because usually you need the help of a friend or something. Let's hit the camera. Just hit it again. You should move it. And you just... You just pry that, try and pry that. Hit this right here. And it just worked and the flywheel should come off. There'll be a washer here, so don't lose that. And look for the... Look for the key. Look for the key right away so you don't lose it. I think it's in here. And that's the key. That locks it in place. So the flywheel doesn't slide and if you don't have that in there, the timing won't be correct. And that's it. Thanks for watching.